This fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record, 23 wins, seven losses. Standing five feet, 11 inches tall, weighing in at 156 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. San Jorge Masvidal. Our fight clock sponsored by Polaris. Visit Polaris.com. Red trunks for Masvidal, white trunks for the southpaw Tim Means. Masvidal, a very clean striker, who has 10 career wins by knockout. Yeah, very little wasted movement with Masvidal, and he's an excellent counter striker. Very patient, very crafty, and very experienced. An experience against higher level competition than Means has faced so far. And absolutely. Including uh, a five round fight for the Strike Force lightweight title, which he lost to Gilbert Melendez. Has a victory over KJ Noons, the former champ, during his six fight stay in Strike Force. Nine fight winning streak for Tim Means. 2 0 oh in the UFC. Trying to set up that left hand. Got caught. And he's looking for that straight left against the Orthodox fighter. To the body goes Masvidal. It's interesting, Mike, because Means is not fighting tall. He's not fighting like a long fighter. He's getting right in front of Masvidal, staying within his range. And Joe, you mentioned when we were in break during the walk-ins that Tim Means is about as long and lean and tall as you can be for a 155-pound fighter. Yeah, and be healthy. I mean, he's still very physically strong at this weight class. He got caught there with a yeah. right hand, Mike. Saw the reaction of Means. He, he, a perfect example of a guy who fights tall is John Jones. Yeah. John Jones is the very best at utilizing his reach and height advantage. Tim Means, on the other hand, is like literally standing right in front of Masvidal. They're touching gloves together. Very close to each other. And again he gets clipped. Masvidal tried to kick to the body. Oh, Spins with the elbow. Very nice. Masvidal says nothing there, which usually means there was. Yeah, if you have to acknowledge it, something happened. Right. Oh, over the top with the right. Means really trying to set up that one, two. Yeah, Masvidal's laying traps. He's just looking for a, a perfect opportunity to counter. Didn't find it there. But that's Masvidal's style. Nice kick to the body by Masvidal. He just got out of the way of the counter. Masvidal shows the shot and then comes over the top. Slight advantage in strikes landed so far for Tim Means. Lead jab. Means controlling the center of the octagon, Mike, and, and pushing the action here. Masvidal content to stand and wait for him, but there he goes for the single and actually gets the takedown. And takes the back. Masvidal scores the first takedown in the fight. He's got one hook. He's going to try to take his back. Notice how he's using that hook on the outside leg too, Mike. He's picking up, using his butterfly to pick up the left leg. Guys. He's going to try to lift it up and elevate him to keep him from defending this takedown. And as he defends that hook, he will take his back fully. And Means does a good job of getting out of that dangerous spot. Pummels under, and he's free. All right, back to the center. Quick jab by Masvidal. Under a minute on the clock here in the first round. Tried that spin, that. yeah. yeah. Quick kick. Masvidal hangs that left hand, but he's got the right in ready position all the time. See if this shot gets completed. 
Nope, means couldn't get it. 20 now. To the body shot by means there. Final seconds of the round. Uh, quick hands. Standing and trading the first five minutes. Corner cam tonight sponsored by Dr. Pepper 10, the manliest low calorie soda in the history of mankind. Good job, Tim. Like a little better spacing, Tom Vaughn talked about to Tim Means. You ready to fight? You ready to fight? Head on the and show. the battle continues. Means with the advantage and significant strikes landed in the first five minutes. And a nice counter. A little slip and rip from Tim Means. Since a four-year hiatus from the sport, Tim Means 15-1 and 1. Means is doing a good job of listening to his coaches because he is not being quite as aggressive and waiting a bit more on Masvidal. And you can see Masvidal is looking to count. So good adjustment made. Yeah, good adjustment. Definitely listening to what his corner had to say. Trying to fight off the takedown. Good use of the underhook. Oh, he's down though. Full guard. Masvidal stayed with it. Looking for the elbow. 31st professional fight for Jorge Masvidal. From the bottom, Means stays busy. Means is doing that as well as looking for the arm bar on the right arm. It wasn't there, so he looks for it again. It wasn't there, but he was trying to set it up with those elbows. Very active from his back. by Means. Good damage done by Tim Means there. Yeah, he certainly got the better of that exchange, even though he was on the ground. Oh, nice left to the shot. body by Masvidal. Yeah, he dug into that one. Means back on his back. Down again, double butterflies here. Let's see if he can defend against the punches. Using his long legs to get in the way of Masvidal. To the body now. Masvidal staying busy, Masvidal's Joe. Masvidal's got his back here, Mike. This is not good for Means. Masvidal has one hook in. And he's going to look to try to get that left leg in between the left and right leg of Means. That would be the second hook to secure the back mount. He's trying to open him up. And Means back to his feet. Masvidal trying to do that same technique again where he reaches across the legs and uses the butterfly hook. We don't see that very often, if at all. Yeah, Masvidal is very crafty. Back on his Gets back. Gets him down again. So four takedowns for Jorge Masvidal. Good and defense. vicious elbows again. Good defense from the bottom by means. That, that one got through. Yeah. Full guard. First time in this position, it was Means doing more damage, especially with the up kick. Another nice elbow by Masvidal. And he mixes it up, goes to the body as well. Means' legs are so long, he's able to triangle the body of Masvidal with relative ease from the bottom. Means really feels he has matured as a person and a fighter, trying to remain unbeaten in the UFC. Hasn't lost at lightweight since 2005. Means keeps rolling those hips, looking for that armbar, but Masvidal is very crafty. 
ground strikes, both men doing a nice job. Masvidal with the slight advantage. And it's been memes that has been on his back in these situations. Yeah, he keeps looking for that arm bar on the right arm, but Masvidal is very aware of it. He's not going to just throw his legs up and catch that. He's going to have to secure the body first, control him. Good left elbow over. This is Good Masvidal scoring here, Mike. Him being on top is virtually securing him this round, unless Means does something dramatic in the last 20 seconds. And he stays busy, too. Cut from the bottom. Yep, those are those big elbows. That could change the complexion of this fight as we approach the end of round number two. Still pouring it on, though, is Masvidal. From the bottom again, Tim Means. And here we see the elbow that means landed from the bottom that cut Masvidal. All right, gentlemen, third and final round. You ready to fight? Yep. You ready to fight? Head on, let's go. Third and final round, five minutes left. Four takedowns, a real key stat for Jorge Masvidal. You heard his corner. We heard his corner while we were away talking about keep the takedowns going. That is the best thing you have been doing in this fight. Yeah, he controlled means from the ground. And, and clearly scored with a lot of elbows from the top. Although Means did land that nasty one from the bottom that cut him. Yeah, considering that Means was the one on his back, the ground strikes landed were very even. But Means is an ultra aggressive guy who likes to stay busy. Oh, oh nice left hand by again. Means. Significant strikes, now it's Jorge Masvidal with the lead. A plus six as the battle continues. I like how Means is mixing it up, throwing that left to the body as well as to the head. Nice. Oh, good left over the top by Means. Means pushes forward quickly with a lead left. Kick towards the body. Oh, nice knee. Caught the leg. Oh, look at that flying knee attempt during the takedown defense. Great takedown defense, too. Takes a look up at the clock. Still a lot of time left. You know what? Win, lose, or draw. This is the best Tim Means we've seen inside the octagon. And the cut has opened up again on Masvidal. He completes his fifth takedown. Oh, nasty elbow. elbows. Masvidal again, trying to get the back. Note how again he utilizes that hook on the far leg and mean steps over it to avoid it. Masvidal struggling here to get this takedown. And Means separates again, nicely done. And Masvidal's face is a mask of blood right now. See if that has an effect here in the final 240 of our fight. Nice, nice elbow. Step in Anderson Silva style elbow from Means. Looking for another takedown. Got it. And he gets it. Tim oh, Means. Nasty elbows from the bottom by Means. Oh, Again. man. He doesn't. He takes a look at He's us right now. <laughs> Don't pay attention to us, man. Get back in there. <laughs> Yeah, he's uh, having a good time in there, quite Absolutely. obviously. He's had success from the bottom with still six takedowns he's scored all, by Masvidal. He's also shown really good defense from the bottom, yes. Mike. Surprisingly few of Masvidal's shots are getting through, and he's landing very well from the bottom. So how much do the strikes from the bottom factor in if we go the distance? Well, if the judges are good, they should factor in, but we've been there before. Yes, well, we had the one fight on the Ultimate Fighter. UFC President Dana White talked about that the judges did a great job there. Significant strikes landed almost even with 90 seconds on the clock. Very entertaining lightweight fight. 
Again, excellent defense from Means. Well, Mas Vidal is trying to be effective from the top. Yeah, the bottom Means, line, yep. though, about this position, though, is that Means doesn't really want to be here, and Masvidal is holding him here, and that certainly counts. Even if Means is landing some shots from the bottom, you have to acknowledge that Masvidal put him there, and that he doesn't want to be there, and that Masvidal's keeping him there. Yep. Over five minutes of top position, nearly seven of control for Masvidal. Yeah, if Means, you know, he does not want to leave this in this position to the judges. He's got to get out of here. He's trying to roll over the top here and push off the cage. Trying to lace up an arm. The corner of Masvidal said, stay with the takedowns. He's done that. Yeah, he's looking to get that Kimura, and he used it to reverse. Beautiful job by Means. 15 Full seconds. Mount. Full mount by Means. Trying to rain down with the final seconds of the fight. Oh, big elbow. This attack by Means. Wow. They go the distance. What a fight. With the official decision of our Masvidal Means battle, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 29 28 for the winner by unanimous decision. Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. Unanimous decision victory for Jorge Masvidal with his six takedowns in the fight. Joe, our move of the fight brought to you by Metro PCS, 4G LTE for all. That was really the difference, was the amount of times that Masvidal was able to take Means to the ground. Means did a good job of attacking from his back. But the bottom line was that Masvidal was successful in putting him there. Our Metro PCS move of the night. Don't forget, fans, we want to know what you think will be the best move of the night. Tweet and let us know at hashtag Metro Move. Tune into the UFC post-fight show on Fuel TV to find out the winning move of the night.